Okay, y'all, so today, this is Cowboy Greg. We're down here at Single Oak Farm, and today we're spraying some Pasture Pro herbicide. Try to get rid of some of the weeds out here. And anyway, I thought I would show you my homemade tank sprayer. And so what I have here is a 60-gallon pickle barrel is what that was. And I turned it in, and I filled it up with my um, herbicide. There's 50 gallons of spray in there. And uh, so anyway, I modified the top to um, hold my pump. I had to reinforce the bottom. Um, and then this is a 12 volt, that's a 12 volt pump that I've got on here. And um, give me just a minute and I'll hook this up. Oh, the orange thing down there, that's my uh, tank gauge. Tells me how much uh, spray I've got left in the tank. So anyway, I'll um, let me just hit pause here. All right, we're okay now. We're back to recording, anyhow. So, like I said, this is my tank gauge. It just floats up, tells me that I've got, you know, plenty left in there, and it's kind of faded, but I've got it marked to 15 gallons and 30 gallons. There's 25 gallons, and then when I get down to the red mark, I know I'm just about empty. Anyhow, I just plumb this thing up with a little um, PEX pipe and. Um, Anyhow, my ring here, hold on a minute, and let me, um, uh, let's see, let me get my ring put on, okay? Just hold on one moment. All right, got my ring on there. When I put the ring on, it takes two hands because I got to push my uh, gauge down when I do it. Anyhow, so we just tighten that ring up, and the way I have this set up, I have it plumbed to where I can run a, a wand sprayer. So when I turn, you know, I can turn this one on. And I have a handheld sprayer that I can ride around the pasture and spray stuff with. My fancy mountain job with that, some horseshoes. But anyhow, then we can turn that off. We can turn this one on. And that will spray out of the boom. And like I said, this is a seven and a half, well, a seven foot boom on it. And um, it sprays about eight feet at a time. So let me just pause here a minute and I will get everything hooked up. It's a simple connection. There's just a couple wires that hook up here to the battery and then um, got a little switch right there that I can operate with. And anyway, let me just pause this a second, get everything hooked up and I'll show you how she works. Okay, I moved out here into the driveway so I can uh, get everything leveled up. It's kind of a level spot and I make sure my nozzles are pointed in the right direction and kind of pointed as straight down as possible now this thing isn't perfect but it does do a good job um so anyhow i just built a new rack for it to hold the um to hold the tank and you know so you got 50 gallons of water in there uh you're looking at probably a little over 400 pounds of um of weight so um, I had to make it a little kind of beefy. But anyhow, let me, um, um, I'll turn this on real quick. And here, let me show you how the wand works. So I can turn the wand on there. And it has a big long hose that I can reach pretty good ways. And it just sprays like nobody's business. So like I said, I really like the wand. It makes it nice for spraying fence rows and stuff like that. And then let me, uh, I'll turn this one here on and you can see on the driveway, you can see, kind of see how wide of a pattern. I don't know if I can get in the right light. I'm not gonna run it very long, but as you can see, the spray overlaps real well. It does pass the wheels of the tractor. And like I said, it sprays about eight feet at a time. So, let me turn that off real quick. Now we won't have any weeds growing there, that's for sure. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna get out here in the pasture and, uh, Go spray some buttercups. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a big field of buttercups out there I gotta get rid of. And so I'll keep the horses and stuff off of it for about 24 or 48 hours. And then they can come back out there and graze on this uh, the way this stuff is designed. It won't hurt them. So anyhow, that's my uh, homemade tank sprayer. Um, I got the nozzles at Tractor Supply and different nozzles do different angles and they spray at a different um, gallons per minute so you have to figure all that out for yourself depending on what you want 
Uh, my pump, let's see. Uh, my pump, I got it uh, Northern Tool. And it's 12 volt, 8 amps. And it will spray 2.2 gallons per minute. So, to get the right amount of spray on your pasture, you have to calculate your speed, which I run between three and four miles an hour, and know how many gallons per minute your ends are gonna spray out, and take it from there. Anyhow, this is uh, Cowboy Greg with Single Oak Farms, getting ready to spray some weeds. Um, anyway, y'all take care. Do something nice for somebody and y'all be good to one another. Bye.